Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, welcome to our training on robotics and artificial intelligence in industrial automation. We will start with an introduction and go over industrial automation, robotics, artificial intelligence, machine learning, automated scheduling, increased efficiency and optimization. If you have any questions at any time, please enter them into the chat box and we'll be addressing them at the end of the training. If you're working on any applications you want to go over, let us know. I'm Maria Santella and I'm our sales manager. I've been with ICP DAS USA for 11 years. And previously here, I've held positions as application engineer, technical sales engineer, and web developer. I have Robert Morrell, one of our senior application engineers here with me who's been with ICP DAS USA for over 10 years and has extensive experience in the automation industry. Later, he's gonna be giving um, an online demonstration going over um, artificial intelligence capabilities with Aviva SCADA software. We manufacture our products in Taiwan and we can ship out items within about seven to 10 days for out of stock items and in stock items we can ship right away. We offer ROHS compliant lead free products and have our ISO 9001 certification. We provide industrial control products and data acquisition systems. They are low DC voltage and they operate in extreme temperatures from negative 13 Fahrenheit to 167 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 25 to 75 Celsius. We have a knowledgeable team here. We provide free application consultation, product specification. We also provide free tech support. And we can also help you with questions, setting up equipment and troubleshooting issues. If you're gonna buy a large volume of equipment, we can provide configuration services before we ship, making installation much faster and easier for you. Our products come with the one-year warranty and they're very reliable. We provide a free PC-based control and monitoring software called Easy Data Logger. And um, it works with a lot of our data acquisition equipment, and it can work with other vendors' Modbus devices as long as you have one of ours in the network, or you can get the advanced license. Industrial automation is the process of using mechanized technology to operate machines and other industrial equipment while minimizing human involvement in the decision making and the manual command processes. Robots programmable logic controllers, and industrial sensors are just a few examples of many tools and technologies that fall under the umbrella of automation technology. Automation systems can be used to gather information for equipment, for preventative maintenance, and can be integrated into current production lines or operated independently. Uh, many different kinds of industrial automation um, equipment is being used uh, for improving processes and for um, it helps with a lot of uh, saving time and um, materials. We offer an extensive line of industrial automation solutions, including machine automation and motion control in remote and PC board form factor. We have PLCs and programmable logic controllers. Uh, some of our Programmable logic controllers have Windows CE.net. Uh, some of them have Linux. Other ones, uh, we have our own operating system. Uh, it's like MS-DOS and it's called Mini OS 7. Our controllers are programmable in languages including C language, IEC 611.31-3 standard languages including ladder logic, instruction list, structured text, function block diagram, and flowchart. Some of our controllers offer cellular tech connectivity for getting machine data back from remote locations. We provide many APIs, libraries, demo programs, and software development kits that help with application implementation and speed up development time. We have remote, rack-based, wired, and wireless I.O. 
communication gateways and converters, Ethernet switches, fiber switches, SCADA software, uh, development and IoT software, and more. Some benefits of industrial automation includes increased production, reduced costs, improved quality, and greater profits. Automation gives employees more time to focus on improving and focusing on innovation. Automation improves accuracy, minimizes errors and redundancies, which improves efficiency. Reporting in automation systems allows for better detection of errors and better quality control. It also allows for less redundant tasks to be done manually, which reduces errors and increases product quality and consistency. There are different types of automation. In a fixed automation system, the production equipment has a fixed set of operations or tasks that are rarely changed. It runs continuously at the same speed, unchanged from one shift to the next. This system is usually used in continuous flow processes using conveyors and mass production systems. Some examples of fixed automation systems are material handling systems, chemical manufacturing, and automated assembly machines. In a programmable automation system, electronic controls can alter both the machinery configuration and the order of operations performed. The program stores different product styles, and the user interface allows for selecting the desired program. An example is a metal rail bending machine where the machine user would select the L, U, or O shape, shape type tube, insert the rail into the machine, run the machine, and the result would be the metal rail bent into the desired shape. A flexible automation system is widely used in industries with frequently changing products and is typically always controlled by computers. A great example of a flexible automation system is a CNC machine, which is usually um, used for cutting sharp edges, drilling holes, or cutting out patterns in materials. They follow coordinates along axes and often are guided with stepper or server motors. Specific job codes are provided by the operator to the computer and the machine acquires the required tools and equipment for the production depending on the codes. Robotics is a field of engineering that involves the integration of computer science and mechanical, electrical, mechatronics, and electronics engineering technology to make machines called robots that help humans with tasks. Robots can usually sense, compute, and act based on information. Advanced robots are intelligent machines that are solving problems. Some robots are able to pick, place, and sort customer orders based on websites, uh, orders that are placed on websites. Some robots sort boxes unloaded from trucks based on size and puts them on conveyor belts or sorting machines. Many robots are built to do hazardous jobs like diffusing bombs, working with toxic chemicals, exploring dangerous terrain, welding, and very heavy lifting. Other robots aid staff and improve efficiency and help prevent errors. Some robotics applications that we're helping with include unmanned aerial vehicles, unmanned subsea vehicles, material handling, sorting, cutting, drilling, and mobile medical assistant robots. Robotics and automation are used together. Automation streamlines processes and reduces human intervention with predetermined decisions and actions. Robotics is the process of developing and using robots for different functions which may or may not be automated. Industrial robots have been used for a long time in the automotive, manufacturing, electronic, and many other industries. They are playing a crucial role in the quickly expanding warehousing and logistics markets. Robots that can learn from their experience and improve upon themselves to execute repetitive jobs are becoming more and more common as artificial intelligence becomes more widespread in these systems. 
We provide a lot of equipment that's used in industrial robotics applications. We provide high speed two to six axis motion control modules that communicate and allow for control over Modvus TCP. They're being used in loader and unloader machines. They come with an API library and demo programs for Visual Basic, Visual C, C language and lab view. Functions are provided for setting the acceleration, deceleration, speed, fixed movement, continuous motion, assigning of axis for interpolation, identifying errors and more. We have our own proprietary line of high-speed IO called FRNet with real IO synchronization capabilities. We also have FRNet C language programmable controllers, and those are, are pretty commonly used in robots. We also offer distributed motion net modules for motion control. Uh, there's a long, a big line and they have digital IO. There's also motion control modules. We also have the PC boards for motion control. And uh, the motion net IO modules, these communicate over RS-485 and because of the protocol, it um, supports high speed. And because it's over RS-485, it also supports really long distance. Robots use data acquisition equipment for taking measurements, sensing the position or location of objects, turning things on or off, decision-making and more. We provide data acquisition equipment that communicates over different protocols, including Modbus RTU, Modbus TCP, Ethernet IP, EtherCAT, Profibus, Profinet, CanOpen, DeviceNet, Zigbee, Wi-Fi, and more. Artificial intelligence is the simulation of human intelligence in devices that helps computers perform tasks on their own and mimics human reasoning and problem solving. Many manufacturers are applying data and analytics to their operations and processes to optimize supply chains, improve forecasts, develop propositions, and monitor machine usage and reliability. It's also being used with robots. AI is helping manufacturers with data acquisition, data collection, examining workflows, identifying inefficiency and issues, saving time and money. Machine learning algorithms can be applied to monitor systems and can tell us when a machine has issues or may experience problems at certain intervals. We provide .NET programmable controllers or you can use our equipment with PCs based systems running .NET applications. Uh, and nowadays, um, you can also run these kind of applications on, on other platforms. Um, so ML.NET developed by Microsoft is a free open source cross-platform machine learning framework made specifically for .NET developers. So if you're a .NET developer, and you already know the C Sharp and C++, and you're very familiar with automation systems and programming in those environments, uh, this is a nice tool for um, artificial intelligence. And it allows you to integrate your custom machine learning models into your .NET applications without having to have any sort of machine learning experience. It's a tool within Visual Studio um, so it, you can have all of the recognized features and um, use them all together. Um, an example of artificial intelligence in industrial automation is predictive analytics, which is the practice of making predictions about the future based on historical and present data. It's util utilized in experience management programs to model how decisions will impact a company and has the potential to change how decisions are made in organizations. The more data is collected, the more accurate your predictive analytics process will be. This chart here shows the steps to any predictive analytic process. It provides trending predictions and patterns from data.
Machine learning is an application of artificial intelligence that enables systems to learn on their own and improve based on experience without explicit additional programming. Some applications of machine learning are language translation, self-driving cars, speech recognition, and image recognition. Uh, so I, I mentioned the ML.NET. Um, it also has tools built in that allow you to add machine learning into your applications. So you're quickly and easily able to add in features like speech recognition and image recognition so you can improve and expand your experience. Tools are available that help with analyzing the sentiment of customers, recommending products based on purchase history, price prediction, customer segmentation, object detection, fraud detection, image classification, and sales forecasting. You can en enable your systems to automatically learn from data and past experiences in order to spot patterns and make predictions with little to no human involvement. In this application, a large data center with a WinPack running .NET programs is in different rooms. And there's also TPD 433 touchscreen controllers, NS205 PSE-24V power over ethernet switch and PET7053, uh, that's a digital input module that's powered over ethernet through the power over ethernet switch. The WIMPAC is connected to many of the TPD 433 that show the status of the equipment, whether it being on or off. The uh, digital input module PET7053 helps detect when equipment's off and shows the status on the door with the over the keypad, the uh, TPD 433 touchscreen. It passes the information back to the WIMPAC, which sends email alarms out to the personnel so they can go get that equipment back on. The CL201E passes temperature and humidity information. It's also displayed on the touch screen. When the temperature or humidity is out of the necessary range and an audible alarm gets played. And then over time, the system is learning from experience and it's also making changes on its own accordingly. So it's starting to predict when the machines may fail. Traditional robotics used preset robotic settings and direct programming to create predictable outcomes in static contexts. However, when a robot must interact with another dynamic object and maybe estimate a position based on visual or sensory feedback, additional obstacles emerged. Robotic tasks include material handling, automated packaging, machine tending, circuit board testing, pick and place circuit assembly, metalworking, shield welding, and assembly line processes. When you combine artificial intelligence and machine learning with these predetermined programmed robotic tasks, over time, the robots are saving time, improving and increasing efficiency, and reducing errors. You can apply industrial machine learning by implementing artificial intelligence with .NET programmable controllers using our WIMPAC modules, also the ML.NET provided by Microsoft, cognitive, cognitive services like speech and vision recognition, emotion detection and decision making in your applications, review predictive analytics, and uh, you can do that using cloud services like the Azure Machine Learning Cloud Service. Another example with artificial intelligence in an automation application, um, AI-powered self-service kiosks. Uh, customers are talking through a TP4100 touchscreen monitor at the dining table and a WIMPAC. Um, it's connected to the WIMPAC running .NET programs, and there's an I.O. module that detects if anyone's at the table, and the kiosk has a payment reader for taking payments. The people at the table uh, read the normal physical menus and decide what they want to order, and then they push a button on the kiosk, 
and tell the kiosk when they're ready to order. The kiosk recognizes speech and emotion from those dining at the table and uses the information in its interaction with them, takes their orders, and just like a chat bot, over time, it learns what's most popular and makes suggestions accordingly. If the entire people, the entire table of people leave without paying an MP3 on the ALM06WF that we provide alerts management, and it's also played at the door. Technology is used in automated scheduling to implement strategies and action plans. It uses advanced programming, optimization algorithms, and other disciplines to effectively automate essential processes and tasks. Benefits include increased efficiency, reduced operation costs, and consistency. Smart sensors use wireless connection and embedded microprocessors processors to monitor, analyze, and maintain diverse systems by gathering data from the physical environment. They work by using environmental data and convert that into electrical signals such as speed, temperature, pressure, mass, or like a, the previous example, the presence of, of people at a table. Smart sensors have four main functions, measurement, configuration, verification, and communication. Smart sensors have a wide range of applications due to their monitoring and tracking abilities. They are used by a number of industries to assist with monitoring, including leakage detection, environmental and remote system monitoring, transportation, and industrial applications. We provide a lot of different kinds of equipment um, that are smart sensors like the WISE 5231 controller, the ISN 101S2DIN for a leak detection, ICANN 116, it's a Modbus TCP based LED sign, and also the ALM horn, um, alarm horn, basically it can put out an alarm and a lot of these communicate over Modbus for easy integration with the existing systems. So this is an application that we're helping with, uh, the ALM horn VR sounds, and then there's also a light alarm module. And it, together with the ICANN series industrial LED, uh, this is being used in the clean room. And so the ISN 101 liquid leak detection module, when leak is detected, it's gonna trigger the audio and LED alarm whenever leaks happen. As the, uh, the leak uh, may put people in danger. And then the, the WISE controller, it is an IO, IIoT edge controller and it's doing the logic and control of the system. Um, so for uh, organizations, they need transparency across their entire operation for an automation process to succeed. So they're collecting and analyzing data from the overall factory, the processes, and from the production. And they're using IoT and other industrial solutions to achieve optimization, which is helping to prevent downtime and improve efficiency with productive maintenance and they're uh, getting better and better results. And now they're adding in the machine learning and artificial intelligence. So over time, the machines are, are getting smarter. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pass, the, pass it over to Robert, who's gonna be showing you Aviva Insights with artificial intelligence. Okay, thank you, Maria. Uh, let's see, I'll switch screens in a minute, but let's see with, uh, this screen right here showing the what do you call it, transparency and how to prevent downtime with uh, acquiring data from multiple locations, improving efficiency and uh, the ability to uh, predict a machine failure uh, is an important. And let's see, let me share my screen. Let's see. Yes. <clears throat> okay, you should be able to see my screen in a second. <clears throat> Most of you are familiar with our Aviva uh, 
Aviva Edge uh, SCADA software. Aviva also has a product called Aviva Insight. This is a cloud-based, uh, what do you call it, solution for sharing data and uh, viewing data from multiple locations. On, we'll have a link to this page uh, at the bottom of our slideshow. But uh, what this page has is a live demo to show the features and benefits of Aviva Insight. <clears throat> and it also will allow you to sign up for a 45 day free trial so you can uh, use and test the software yourself. Now, let me go to the feature section right here. Uh, let's see, the highlights of this are it has uh, connectivity with most of the standard industrial drivers. You can share data and uh, from multiple locations through the cloud. <clears throat> you can uh, view graphics. You can create your own dashboards to uh, see, uh, what do you call it, the manufacturing and uh, statistics from multiple locations in one central location. Let's see, let me actually open up the uh, demo right now. This is the Aviva Insight demo, which uh, was on the previous page. <clears throat> Uh, this is the dashboard that they created to show off their product. Um, it's, you can create your own, of course, using the 45-day free trial. Uh, the data from this is live and cloud-based, so you can uh, connect multiple locations and use uh, statistics from uh, sensors and uh, PLCs connected to many different pieces of machinery at many different locations. And in this case, uh, overall equipment efficiency is uh, shown here in this demo. <clears throat> uh, this one has multiple locations. Uh, this shows the Austin plant, and this shows the Clearwell plant. Uh, let's see, the other screen that I wanna show you over here, the analysis. <clears throat> well, let's see, this is a, another screen, of course, and you can view, uh, different time periods, pretty much using the same uh, template, but you just uh, extend the period. So instead of, uh, what do you call it, one day's worth of data, this is three days worth of data. <clears throat> you can analyze uh, the data to predict maintenance and to um, monitor manufacturing uh, production and uh, note, note any alarms that may occur uh, within the uh, facility. And you can use that to increase production at a different facility to accommodate the downtime, or you can, uh, <clears throat> what do you call it, trigger alarms to uh, increase production at another location if something goes down or something uh, happens at one location. <clears throat> let's see, with, uh, let's see, in this table, it just shows the overall equipment e <clears throat> efficiency in percentage at uh, this, uh, what do you call it, um, portion of the production. And it's just used for analyzation and uh, data shared through the cloud. So note that Houston is a different location than Austin. And you just view the different uh, data from each plant. And you can monitor from one central location through the cloud. That's the equipment efficiency. <clears throat> This screen right here shows a mock-up of a production environment. Note that there's a line one and line two. You can acquire real-time data through the dashboard. You can monitor the overall production, <clears throat> the production rate, and note a target production rate. And then note if you're able to meet the uh, requirements based on the current and future um, um, what do you call it? Or you can use the statistics to know whether you need to increase production or if you're on track to provide the uh, targeted production rate. <clears throat> um, let's see if you have any questions about uh, Viva Insight. Uh, let's see, we'll be happy to answer them at the end of the presentation. Uh, just one more thing I want to note. <clears throat> um, let's see, within this uh, demo, you can uh, use this to find objects which you want to create your own project. But using the 45-day demo, you can create your own project and you can see <coughs> and test with your real real-life equipment using Modbus TCP, 
uh, Ethernet IP or most of the standard industrial protocols out there uh, with your current equipment. And then if you want to purchase it, you just uh, need to, what do you call it, purchase the full license once uh, the 45 day trial has expired. <clears throat> uh, the main thing about this that I like are the alarms. The alarms actually help you to, what do you call it, know if something is happening that may affect production, affect um, <clears throat> a reliability or uh, cause a downtime within production. <clears throat> Um, the Viva Insight uh, website, again, is shown here. I will, uh, what do you call it, provide the link at the bottom. If you have uh, any questions about the Viva Insight, we can go over those. And the training session, there's some training uh, classes right here that are available as well. <clears throat> well, let's see, I'll open up the webinar for any questions. If you have any questions, either type them in the chat box or uh, <clears throat> you could raise your hand and we can open the mic and you can ask your questions live. Let's see the Q&A box. <clears throat> also, if you have any questions about the products that Maria covered in the webinar, we can go over the motion controllers or any uh, robotic uh, products that uh, she would like to discuss <clears throat> or any applications. Let's see, I don't see any questions, but if you do think of any questions that you would like or applications you would like to discuss after the webinar, please feel free to contact us or just type in the chat box that you would like to be contacted and we can uh, schedule a call or uh, call you right away. And then uh, if there's any topics that you're interested in learning more about, <clears throat> if you have any suggestions for future webinars or anything, let us know. Um, yeah, we appreciate your feedback. You know, if we can help with any applications that, uh, you know, we did not cover in a previous webinar, we can certainly cover those in future webinars. Okay, well, thank you so much for attending our webinar, and uh, we hope that we can help you in the future. Okay, thank you all for attending, and we'll see you next month. Bye.